Hi everybody, this is Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. When you jump on, just say hi so I know that you're here. I have to wait a couple minutes. Uh, Facebook is very slow at putting up any comments or people count. I hope everybody had a fantastic week. Oh, I hope I am not going to keep blinking out again today. I see 29 people. I am not seeing my comments. Oh, there we go. Hi, Linda and Debbie. I'm waiting. Facebook is so slow. Hi, Ginger. And there's my husband is watching. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to keep freezing out because it did that. Hi, Lori. I have two Lori's in a row. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. Linda from New Sh New. New Jersey Shore. Hi, Linda and Renee and Mona and Suzanne. Okay, everybody. I'm here to hope to inspire you to create the things that you want to decorate for your home. So I have a lot of recess lighting in my house and to change it out is not cheap. It's very expensive to have an electrician come and change out your lighting cans to electrical lights. Because I did that for over my island in the kitchen. Hi, Sherry from Buffalo, South Carolina. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rebecca. And I think my grandbabies are watching. They said they were going to be watching. So, hi, Scarlett and Jackie and Mia and Hunter. Hi, Karen. Hope you have a sunny day and no snow. No snow, no hail, but it's still cold. It was sunny, but still cold. We're supposed to get 70s this week. Was a great day today. I saw my first hummingbird. Oh, I haven't seen a hummingbird yet. I just bought a new hummingbird feeder too. Okay, so I wanted to change out, actually first, the recess lighting above my bathtub. And so it's kind of expensive. So I was researching recess lighting and I came across a company who makes these recessed lighting chandeliers. But, let's see if you can see this. See this one? This one is $225. So, <laughs> I knew there had to be a way that we can create this. So I went on Amazon and I found these. This is a recessed light trim. And it's 10 inches this way and six inches in the center. The center is your most important part because when you hold it up, you need your light to be able, this to go around your ring or your light. I, it looks like I'm going to be freezing again. I saw my first on Mother's Day. Oh, hummingbird, I'm guessing that is. So I ordered this. Then I searched the crystals, replacement chandelier crystals. And this bag, you get 20 feet of string crystals you get six of these little bags now i end up using almost four of these whoops wait a minute i'm i'm a little connected here i ended up using like four of these almost four of these strands see how they come so you get six of these strands in a bag and those were 14.99 i have all my little notes there Hello from Mississippi. Hi, Jennifer. And hi, Sarah from Kentucky. And thank you for sprinkling bath. Then I wanted the little drops to hang. So I found these. You get a set of 20 of these for $10. You get five in a package. You get four packages. And they are these. Oh. My blog post for this is um, available on my blog page now. My wonderful web guy got it up for me. And these are listed on there, which ones I use. And it's also under my products recommended. Those are awesome. Aren't they pretty? And they're real crystal. They're not plastic. Oh, they're not plastic. They're the real crystals. The chains and these are real. Hi from California. Sprinkle. Thank you, Angela. Hi, Sandy from Southern Illinois. <clears throat> okay, 
So you will need some kind of crystal strands in the droplets. Then you are going to need 12 of these, 12 of these half inch hooks, these tiny little eye hooks, eye screws, I guess I should call them. See how tiny they are? Now, if you ordered this one, I have in my directions where I put the, the little eye hooks. I mark them with the pencil first. If you can see these tiny little things. I started with one in the center of this medallion, I guess I want to call it. And then I moved to the second leaf over. Now, if you buy a different one, what I'm going to tell you in my directions is mark one spot close to the rim of this inside, like the outer inside of the rim. So when you mark one spot, then measure one and a half inches, right? I want to double check. One and a quarter inches. One and a quarter inches from this, from the spot you just made, over. And mark another one. Then you're going to go two and three quarter inches over and mark another spot. Then another one and a quarter. It's in my directions. I put all the measurements and pictures. My mother-in-law had lamps with, oh, I missed it. Oh, lamps with crystals, I'm guessing. Sprinkled Sherry, loving your ideas, watching you and Eminem. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for sprinkling, too. So after I marked all my little spots, I just take these little, these little eye screws here and you wiggle. You probably can start a hole by drilling, but I want it to be really tight. So I didn't want to do that. I just wiggle the screw in there and touch it down a little. And then you just start screwing it in. You might have to wiggle more. My fingers are kind of big for these little tiny eye screws. Okay. There we go. Once you get it started, it goes right in. Just got on. Hi, Debbie. Welcome to Crafty Decorator. I'm glad you're here, and we are making a recessed lighting chandelier. So here, I have one more to add. Oh my God, I have been following Barbara and commented many times, never had she recognized me. My name is in fifth. I missed who that was. Hi, Nancy. It's hard to catch everybody. You just look up and you see who's there and they go so darn fast, those comments. You try to catch them. There's Yasmin. Hi, Yasmin. How are you today? I love your craft. Thank you, Yasmin. Goodness. Okay. That one's a little tougher. It's thicker there. But just wiggle. You can use the drill if you want, but I like it to be tight. And I think I'm afraid the drill hole is going to make it too big. It's cold here today, guys. I got my sweatshirt on. I got a jacket on. As I say that, I'll probably start sweating under the lights. This one just doesn't want to go for me. Honestly, they're not this hard. Bear with me. Hello, I love your voice. It's so soothing. I hate my voice on the recordings. <laughs> I think it sounds so different than what I really sound like. Barb has never mentioned me. Linda, it's hard. Keep commenting. She'll see you. She'll see you sooner or later. I don't know if she's on here. She is... Uh, probably easier if I hold it. She was watching the auctions, I know. Yep, see? Easier if you pick it up. Love, Chris. Okay, I'm back. How much would you say it costs 
for one curious about the savings your s sisters are so talented how much do you think it costs to do one of these i it's it cost me under fifty dollars it's like forty some dollars now this one i got is was fifteen dollars now you may choose a different one they're hard to find though with the six inch opening Help from Magnolia. Oh, hello from Magnolia, Texas. <laughs> what is the main piece? This, this is a recess light trim. And it's made out of some kind of poly. It feels like a little bit like a styrofoam, but heavier than that. I paint, it comes white, but I painted it because it was kind of a dull white. And I want to be able to wipe it. So I painted it so it would have a, a coating. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Harriet. It took a long time for me, too. But she gets to you. Hang in there. Yes. <laughs> She'll see you sooner or later. Okay, so this is what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with your 12 eye hooks around. Then you're going to... Well, after you do that, you're going to separate your chains. So here's what you're going to need. You are going to need six pieces. This is, oh, okay. You are going to need a piece with six of these crystals. So count six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then separate it so you still have one of these round connectors on the end. Because you need a round connector on this is just like what your car keys are on. One of those little rings. So you just open it up and take it down. Then you end up with a six crystal. They call it garland on Amazon. This is crystal garland. But make sure you end up with a little round connector on each end. You will need six of these. So you need to make six strands of six crystals. Then... You are going to need four strands of 12 crystals. Now see, now you end up where you have a crystal with no little connector on it. So I just removed that crystal. You're going to end up with a couple crystals left over that don't have any connectors. But I'm sure we can use them for another project. Sherry, keep me busy. It's going to rain for four days. Hard rain. They say so, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Don't feel bad. We've had so much rain here, it's terrible. Rain, snow, you and Barb are so talented and offer a lot of to your followers. We appreciate it so much. Thank you, Shirley. We appreciate you. So then you need to count 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then you're going to take this off. So right now you have six, six strands, and you're going to have four 12 strands, 12 crystals, and then you need two with 16 crystals on it. But make don't forget, make sure you have your little hoops on the end. I'm not going to separate them all for you. I just separated those to show you. Let's see. Is everybody with me so far? I have a I have a lot of these same crystals. I don't know where I found them. My sister lives in Pennsylvania and I live in Georgia. Oh, that's funny. Just like you and your sister. That's funny, Cinda. Cindy. I have a bunch of crystals. Um, these I got from Amazon. I don't have a lot of these strings, but I have a lot of different kinds of these that I have bought in at estate sales. Bags of them. Okay, so... You're going to have this. And you have your crystal strands ready. So now, these two middle eye screws that are two and a quarter inches apart there, that is where you're going to add your six. You're going to take a six crystal strand, and you just need to open up this little connector again. As I say that, 
and slide it onto the to the eye scroll. Okay. You're just going to connect it like that. Make sure I'm in the camera like that. Then you're going to take this other end and go to the other. Please don't keep uh, blinking out on me. <laughs> I even cleaned my phone out because my husband thought it was because of my phone. Your lighting is good and you look beautiful. Oh, I look terrible. My hair is terrible. Thank you. Got taken time out of your day and sprinkle with us. Thank you so much. If I don't be able to get to a salon soon, the grays and the length of my hair, I can't do nothing. Okay, so you have a six. Now you're going to take a 12. And you're going to hook the 12 on the same two eye screws that you hooked your six on. Oh, see, that one went out much easier. Some of them are stubborn, some are easy. Okay. Oops, see, I thought I had it on. There we go. So then you have this. Now you're going to do that to the four sets of the two screws that you have. Do you see what I'm saying? So then you're going to be looking like this. You have four sets of a 6 and a 12. Then, okay, got to put it back down right. In my directions, you'll see, too, I talk about top, bottom, left, right. So, like, this is the bottom, this is the top, the right, the left. Um, I explain that in the directions, too. Sherry, you need to hop on every day to keep us busy. <laughs> Thank you, Yasmin. But, oh, my God, it takes me so long to get ready. Like, to figure this out took me a day to figure out how I was going to hang these. Okay, so now you need to take a 16 crystal strand. And you are going to, oh, one of my little things fell off here. Let me put it on. Okay. The hook, the eye screws that you just hooked your 6 and your 12 strand on. You are going to take your 16 and you're going to take one end and hook it to one of those eye hooks. So you're ending up with three strands hooked to that one eye hook. Let me just see where it opens. There it is. I need smaller fingers. Okay. So now you have that hooked along with your 6 and your 12. Now you need to take it across to the top. And hook it on the eye hook right across from that. The other set right across that have the 6 and the 12. You're going to hook that to the eye, that eye hook directly across. Is everybody getting what I'm explaining so far? Sherry, you... So you have... Yes, I have trees in my home. Tell their blog post has... What? Where to get items to... Oh, okay. My husband's bringing me notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, you're asking where you can find the the crystals and the rim that I'm using, the recessed trim. Um, I got them from Amazon. If you go to my blog post, I have their links listed there. Or you can go to, I don't know if you know, but on my webpage, where my blog post is, on the top there is a title called Recommended Items. And I have things listed there that I have bought and that I like that will take you to the, the site that they're from. Lori Burns, yes, you are doing a good job explaining. Thank you, Lori. It's kind of confusing. I was a little worried about making the blog. So, like, I did one step, showed you pictures. Then did another step, showed you pictures. So, like, each set of strands has its own pictures. Yes, so far, so good. Thank you, Diane. Did you always like to craft like your sister Barb? Yes. <laughs> I have been crafting forever also. 
Okay, taking your second strand of 16 crystals to your other eye screw. You have this one attached to this one. Now you're going to attach this one to this one. I'll show you what it looks like. So like this step is posted on the blog and then I show pictures of how I did it before I move on to the next step. So try to make it easier. Doing an awesome job, Sherry. Love your DIYs. Thank you, Teresa. I hope to have you create the things you want to decorate your home with. Like I look through magazines for ideas and then I want to craft it. Hey, let's see. Let me go down. I missed that. Hey, up. Oh, it won't let me go down. Yeah, you called my name. I've been with Barb since August and never been recognized. <laughs> Hang in there. You will be. You will be. Okay, so this is what you're going to be looking like now. See your two long ones hanging in there in the middle and then your four smaller ones around. Okay, so now... I gotta make sure I'm not messed up because I keep picking it up. You should have two sets of six. Oh, I think I might uh did I mess up? Did you know? Alright, let me make a set of six. I thought I had them all made, but I guess I don't. Okay. Let me make another set of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had six made. I guess I didn't. Okay. Two, four, two, four, six. All right. There's six and six. Okay. So you should have two sets of six left. Hi, Janet. Hi, Lynn. Me too, and I don't get questions answered. I'm sorry, Lynn. She has a lot, a lot more followers than me. So between you and Barb, you both will keep me so busy. Love your craft ideas. Thank you. I missed who that was from. Okay. So now you have two six ones left. Now, here's what you have to do. Okay, this right here, now we hooked the top and the bottom. We hooked the 16 crystals from there. Now we're going to move to the left side where you have your 6 and 12. Now, see this 12 right here? You want to count four rings down, counting the one that's hooked to the eye screw. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. This would be your four connector ring. That is where you want to hook. I bumped out again. That is where you want to hook one end of your crystal garland here. You want to hook it to that fourth connector down on the 12 strand. So this is what, see, this is what you have. It's the fourth one from the eye screw. Now, you have to go across. Let me get it back together again because I keep picking it up. Okay. You have to go across to the right. You're going to take this strand and go to the right. But, oops, we fell off. One, two, three, four. I'm pulling too hard. Let me put it back on. Let's see. Give me a second. Hi, Sherry. Just hopped on. I was attending online church. Oh, good for you, Sandy. Hopefully, everyone will be able to go back to real church. Um, I don't know. Pennsylvania right now isn't opening till June. Okay, so take your end, and now you have to go under. You have to go under these two 16 crystals that are you have laying in the middle. So go under that and bring it to the right. 
Now you're going to count four, one, two, three, four connectors again on the 12 uh, crystal strand. You're going to count four down, four down from the eye screw and hook that on. Hook your end to that one. Okay. Then you're going to take your other six strand and do the same to the other side. Inside the upper eye screw, you're going to count four down. One, two, three, four, and hook that one on. I'll show you. Here. As soon as I find the opening, there we go. And again, you have to go under those two strands that you have laying in the middle to the right side and count four down again on your 12 strand, your 12 crystal strand. I want to make sure I have four. Let's see. Major wooden birds today. Yay, Kendra. They are the cutest, aren't they? I will have to see this again. Janice, you can read the directions on my blog. Um, I think they're pretty explanatory. Okay, let me show you what you're ending up with. There. See how it is? Now the easy part is to come. It seems complicated, but I'm sure it's not. It does seem complicated. The first, um, really the first two sets of beads that you put on. Okay, but I'm just going to move these to here. So now you have four eye screws still that you have not connected anything to. It is between the third and fourth or fourth and fifth. Are you talking about the ring? I just hooked those in. Let me see where it is here. I'll show you. Let me find it. It's right here. Okay. So your first connector is hooked to the eye screw. So that's one. And then two, three, four. Your fourth connector. There's three crystals and then the connector after the three crystals. That's where you're going to hook your end to and then go straight across okay so you have your four eye hooks left i bought a lamp with crystals hanging we had to hang all of them on also love this idea thank you barbara i had bought a big chandelier at a consignment shop and uh took the crystals off and my barb's mother-in-law drove to Georgia once and took it for me to my daughter-in-law and then all the crystals had to be put back on. I'm loving it so far. Thank you, Yasmin. My, uh, let's see, Gina, my goodness, you keep popping out and my signal keeps popping out. I hope the replay is better. I hope the replay is better too, but last time I kept popping out, the replay still had it on there. I'm not sure. I think it's Facebook. I think Maybe a whole bunch of people are on live at the same time. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your four little crystals like this. You need to remove this little top piece right there. You just bend the back open and take it out. It's this little piece. You're going to take that out from the top. Then you are going to make... You are going to make a three crystal, let's see. I gotta take this one off because there's no hoop on it. Whenever you don't have a hoop, just take that one off and set it aside. So we need to add three crystals to this. So just count down three crystals and take it them off. Make sure you're including the hoop because you need the hoop, the connector hoop. So like this. So you need to make four of these little three crystal hangers. Then you're going to attach it to the top of this. This is the easy. This part in the beginning is the easiest. Really, the only thing confusing are the two of the 12 or two of the 16 
crystal strands and two of the 12. They're the only confusing ones. The rest is really simple. Okay, so you're going to make four of these. Four of these little hangers. Then you're just going to hook them to the eye hooks that you haven't used yet. Your eye hooks. See, I'm backwards here and I'm getting... You're going to hook this to your little eye screw that you haven't hooked anything to yet. Let's see. Sometimes you can just open it by pushing on the eye hook. But I guess that's not going to happen. All right. Let me open it. There we go. So then you're going to hook your other three on those other three unused eye screws that you haven't put anything on yet. Sprinkled from Wisconsin. Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie. I so much appreciate it. I'm going to hook these around. push them all in and that is it it's really kind of really simple and once you make one if you need more than one it gets easier and easier what is the circle called it's a recess lighting trim so if you look it up it's recess lighting trim you can find it on the blog or on my recommended um, items and it will show there's really not too many that you can get with a six-inch opening. They're hard to find. Hi, Dan. I'm happy to see you, too. I wish I could see you guys. Thanks for sharing this. Thank you, Julie. Someone said they were going to make them for their porch. I don't know. I might have to add some for my porch. I have recess siding on my porch. Brenda Lee Walters. This is so pretty. Thank you. Then to hang it. I use this. It's like a double, it's molding tape is what it's called. It's like um, spongy. One side is sticky, the other side you have your tape. So I just cut four, four, four inch strips. Now, I don't hook it to the back of this. I stick them to the rim of my recessed lighting that's already up. Only because I want to make sure that the tape isn't sticking out of the, the middle rim. So when you look up, you don't see it. So I hook these on the rim first. And then I peel the tape off. And then I just hold this up and center it. And then you just push it really good on there. Can't wait to try. I want to make sure you see, send me pictures, Ruth, if you try this. Where did you get crystals? From Amazon. If you go to my webpage, www.thecraftydecorator.com, you can look out for the blog. I have the blog up for this. They're on there, how to get, where to get them, or my recommended products list on the top, if you click on that. I am so glad I jumped on. I will make it for my bedroom. Nice job, Sherry. Thank you, Lori. Yes, I have one in my master bathroom over the tub. And then I made one for over the kitchen sink. It turned out so good. Thank you, Yasmin. Rita Wallace, it's beautiful. Thank you. Do I have two Yasmins? Are you really commenting, Yasmin? I didn't look at the last name. Robin, beautiful. Thank you. Add it to my journal. I know. I keep adding. You. Everyone was asking if I made the signs, the home sign in the kitchen, the relaxed sign in the bathroom, and I didn't. I bought those, but we can make those. Love this. It's adorable. Thank you, Mary Spencer. I want to make it. Janice, thank you. I love your crafts. Thank you, Pam. I hope you guys all gave it a try. It's better than spending $225. 
and more. Now they do show some with pearls, but I could not find pearls that have. So I just stuck with the crystals. I am late. We'll watch replay. Oh, you can watch the replay bar ab, or you can check the blog post out. Now I'm looking around the house. <laughs> How many do I need? Start just adding in a single spot. That's what I did. I just started adding in the bathroom over the tub and see if you like it. And then I added one over the sink. Now I'm thinking of the porch. Just what I needed. You might be able to buy a set of these two. I'm not sure. They might sell like three together. Thank you, Lee. Yes, Lee, we have to get together. Call me. Love spending time with you. Thank you, Julie. And Rhonda Corn. Hi, Sherry, I'm late. That's okay. Love it, great crafter. Thank you, Amy. Betty Black Jasperson, I love it. Thank you. I'm okay. I do, oh, I wanted to tell you. I left this pot that we made a while back out in the yard for, I don't know, since we've made it. So I don't know what that was, two weeks ago. I left it in the snow, the rain, and it's still holding up. These are all still sticking on. Everything's good. So I think you'll be okay. Can it only be added to recess lighting fixture? I'm not sure what else you would want to add it to. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you want to add it to. Rhonda, I will have to watch again. I know, I keep linking out a little. The master bath is where I want one. Great idea. Thank you, Janie Cooley. Janie Cooley, PM me your address. Some more silicone molds. This one... I ordered from Hobby Lobby. This makes this flower. And I am going to try to turn these into flower picks. See? You just stick a stick in there while you're waiting for it to dry. And I'm going to paint them and wrap them. Really like this. I don't have any recess lights to try it on. Oh, I'm sorry. So I am going to send you this and this one from Walmart this little flower thing. So PM me your address and I will um, send it out tomorrow morning. And Teresa Spars Bell, can it go around your fire alarm? Oh, I bet you. You can probably order the smaller one. Measure what size circle you will need for your, your fire alarm or your smoke detector because you might be able to get the four inch center and those would be cheaper. And Teresa, send me your Teresa Spars Bell. Is it Bell? Yes, Bell. PM me your address, and I will send you one of these, too. We need a, a source to open so I can go shopping. Thank you so much for a beautiful idea. Make one pink. You can paint these any color you want. Or you can paint it and antique it. If that's what you want. My rims are white. My ceiling is white. So that's why I just left it. I left it white. Love all your craft, Sherry. You rock. Thank you, Yasmin. All right, guys. I don't want to keep you on here all night long. Thank you. And I hope I inspired you to craft and decorate. Just look around. Look in the magazines. Find something that you want to use to decorate in your house and find a way to craft it. Thank you, Sherry. I've been with the Shabby Tree for a long time and have never had my name drawn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who was it? Oh, I lost them. It won't let me go down. Okay, guys, thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to... Uh, tomorrow I will jump on. I am going to start a Thrifty Thursday. Every Thursday I want to jump on and show you what I do with stuff that I find at the thrift store. And I do have stuff stashed that I found at the thrift store. So I'm going to start that tomorrow. So I'll jump on every Thursday and show you all what I do with my thrift store finds. That should be fun. Okay, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.